What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and if you interact with PDFs often, or even occasionally, I got a piece of software in my arsenal that I know you guys will definitely enjoy and find useful, called PDF Element. If that sounds interesting, let's jump right in. Right, so here I am on my Mac, and this is available for both Windows and Mac. So here it is in the Mac App Store. You can go ahead and download it from here. I'll put the Mac link down in the description, as along with the Windows link as well, so you guys can see the screenshots and everything. It's pretty cool, and it's very intuitive, and easy to use but it's just great for handling pdfs you can just do about anything so over here on my desktop i have a pdf just to show you guys and test and it's like a lot of pages it's a really cool pdf i'm actually might give this a read so first off once you open it up click on open file and all you want to do is go and select the pdf that you want to edit hit open and boom just like that it's super quick you guys can see it got my pdf right here and all the pages too now i really love just how simple it is to use so look at the left over here we got the tabs you got text image link form markup and tool let's go and start with text so first off you can click over here to add text and add any text that you want so i'm I'm just going to type in, let's say, hello. All right, so that's pretty small. You can also go and change everything about it. So if I go and highlight this, I could go ahead and change the font. I could go ahead and just choose if I want it to be bold or italic, the font size, the color. So let's say I want it to be yellow. Um, I could do that, boom. And let's say I want it to be bold. I could also align it to the center and just do everything with it. It's really pretty cool. And then I think we should make it a lot bigger. It's pretty small. Let's go ahead and type in over here. Um, 120. All right, so there you go. We got a hello over there. All right, so you can also go and change the existing text. So this is already here before. I go and actually go and edit it so I can just be like messing with them. Um, one doggy or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but you guys can see you can even edit the text. And again, you can do the same formatting options with this too. Once you're going to highlight it, so that is really pretty cool. Now up next, we're going to select the image section right here. You're going to add an image. So I could go and do this. Let's say I want to go to add my desktop wallpaper, which I just downloaded. I just typed in Marine Live or something like that. And let's go to open it up. And I can just go ahead and just put it anywhere I want, just like that. So it's really pretty easy to use. I can go to resize it just like this. So I want it right there. And yeah, so. Again, really easy to use. I can just put it whatever I want. And I can also go ahead and rotate it using that button. I can go ahead and replace the image if I want to. I can go ahead and crop it, delete it if I don't like it. And yeah, so the same controls work. We can go ahead and Command Z to undo everything if you don't like something that you did. So I'm going to go back to how it was. All right, so here we are. And yeah, so that's the image section. Pretty, pretty simple. Let's go back to the link over here. Now, first off, you can go ahead and add a hyperlink. I'm gonna go to the second tab first over here, guys. So this will open a web page. So let's go and do this. For example, I'm just gonna go and put it right over here. And I can open a web page. Let's say I wanna do, I don't know, google.com. I'm just gonna go and copy the link and put it over here, save it. And now if I go ahead and click on this link, I can go ahead and hit preview to preview it. And you guys can see it does work. So when someone clicks on this link in the PDF, it will actually go and open up. So that's pretty cool. I don't know you could do that. That's so easy to use. I go and delete it. And there's also this right here. So I could add a link right here. So I go and just put this right there. And I could say once I go and click it, it goes to page 70. Actually, not 70. 70 is pretty boring. Let's try 50. No, 50 is pretty boring. Let's try 30. Okay, there we go. That's somewhat more interesting. Let's do that. Hit save. Again, go and click on it. Hit preview. And you guys can see it jumps me straight to page 70. We've got some creepy fish over here. But yeah, so every time someone clicks that, it will go straight there. So that is super cool. It's really pretty cool what you can do with PDFs. PDFs are really versatile and you can just do a lot with them. That's why companies use them a lot. I use them to sign contracts and agreement a lot. So if we go to form next, you can see first off, I could add a text field. So I'm just going to put that, for example, right there. I could go and double click on this. It'll bring this up. I could go and name this text box, whatever I want. Let's just name it form, for example. And you can just do everything with this too. I mean, look at this. You can go over here too. You can change the border color. Um, so yeah, this is really pretty awesome and intuitive. It's really easy to use again. I love this about it. So you can also add a checkbox. So if you have a form or something and you want to just add like agreements, like you agree with everything, right? You're going to add a checkbox like that. Double click on it. And you really don't have to change anything over here. Let's go ahead and just go back to previewing it. So I'm going to click on the preview button right here. And now if I go ahead and click on this, you guys can see it checks it unchecks it, click on it, check it again. So yeah, that's really useful too for clients. It's going to add the radio button too. So that's basically the same thing. You can make it as big as small as you want. I'm going to hit preview. And this time, this one this is a dot one. So I'm going to click on it and it will go ahead and basically just put this dot so you guys could just have it filled out. I go back to edit over here. You could add drop down menus, list boxes, 
OK buttons and stuff like this and digital signature. This is a big one right here. So I've got to bring this in. I'm going to add a digital signature, right? Let's say right here. It says sign here. And it's like that. You can name it whatever you want to. So I'm just going to name it the signature and let's go ahead preview. And if I'm going to click on this, I could actually go to add my signature if I wanted to. So to do that, I would just go ahead and hit create over here. Don't worry, it's really pretty simple. I'm just going to type in my name, my email. So let's do hackspot at gmail.com and organization. Let's do YouTube, YouTube. All right, so cool. So once I hit OK, I can go and hit OK again and sign it. And I can go and save it to my desktop so no one can alter this. And yeah, so let's go and do that. And boom. Just like that, the document has been digitally signed to protect. So validate signature, signature properties. You guys can see, you can see everything about it over here. All right, so that's that. Now for me personally, I like to actually like draw my signature, even if it is with my trackpad on my Mac. So you can go to markup over here and there's a bunch of options over here. So with the like regular text documents, you can highlight, so you can do that on here too. You're going to strike through so you can make a line through the words if you want to do that. You can underline. So let me show you guys how some of these work. I'm going to highlight it yellow and boom just like that going to highlight text very easily so that's pretty cool and the same thing goes for like strike through you guys see i get the same thing right here so boom it's all strike through and yeah so let's go back to the what i want to show you guys the pencil so over here you can go to change the thickness so i like to keep mine let's say i like uh let's do a 3.0 just like that and now i can go ahead and actually draw my signature so if I want to do that, I can. And of course, if you want to change color, you could do that. Let's say I want to make it uh, black to make it more professional. And I can actually take more time on this if I wanted to. But yeah, so that's pretty cool too. You could also go to use eraser. And I can change the thickness, the opacity. So if you want it to be like lighter colored or like more faded out, you could do that. You could also go to tools over here. You could add or edit a watermark, add or edit a background. I could also go ahead and add a header and footer. But yeah, so you can do a lot with PDF elements. Really pretty crazy and very intuitive. If you sign documents, if you highlight documents, if you want to add check boxes and do so much more with a PDF so easily, this program is so handy. Again, it's also available on your Windows computer as well. But yeah, let's go and apply the change. Let's go and just click on this, apply replace it so yeah now i have a new pdf over here and it has all the changes that i made so pretty cool stuff now if you do buy you do get the subscription benefits so first off you don't get that watermark over here so you don't have to deal with that so that's cool and there's no page quantity limitation to convert pdf to other formats so you guys can see this has a lot of pages with the trial version you can only convert up to a maximum of three pages so it's really worth getting it and it has ocr supported for scanned pdfs like a scanned pdfs and just put them on a computer and then edit them from there. So there's really a lot you guys could do here. Now, guys, if you do decide to buy it, there is a 50% off discount down below in the description. Just be sure to use the link. And also on top of that, if you write a review for PDF element on the Mac app store, you can go ahead and screenshot it and send it over to this email right here, jesse at wondershare.com. And within two to five business days, you will be sent a free $5 Amazon gift card. And that again is just for writing a review. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. This is the hack spot. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Look, lately I went missing with no permission. It's part of it. I've been working harder than competition from start of it. Now they looking at me. I see them all through the rear view. Kill yourself to get your spot, then they die to be near you. They think that I made it, cause I made it past them. They were never the target. My target is past.